this. And that brings me to a very important scoring system. And this is a very, very important scoring system that we rheumatologists do. Simple scoring, just by pinching the skin, we do the score and the score is very, very important. And I'll tell you why this is important. So this is called the modified Rodman score. It's done in these 17 sites. So pinching the skin of the fingers, the dorsum of the hand, the forearm, you can the arm, the face, the trunk, the thighs, the legs, and the foot. So when we score this, we, we, when we pinch and we oppose the thumb and the index finger, if you are freely able to pinch the skin, and why I'm telling you this is in COVID times, it's not possible for you to visit your doctors. So a lot of you could actually know yourself, you know, whether your skin is worsening or not. And I'll tell you why that is important. So when you pinch and the skin is easily pinchable without you feeling any thickening of the skin, it's called, with minimal thickening is probably zero to one. When you're just able to oppose, but you feel the thickness, it's one. When you are able to pinch, but not able to oppose, that's two. And then when you're just not able to pinch the skin also, that's called three. And that's how we start scoring them. Why the score is very important? Because of two things. One is it also tells us the kind of disease, the subset. So basic, basically scleroderma is divided into two different subsets and they are very different from each other in many ways. One is the diffuse subset where the skin thickening is involving the whole body. And in the other, the skin thickness is only limited to the hands, not does not involve the arm and the trunk and the proximal thighs, only the distal part of the legs and upper limbs are involved in the face. So the people who are who, where the skin is sparing the chest, the trunk part are basically limited and where the whole body is involved is diffuse. So it's very important to understand dif this differentiation. Why? Because both of them will have a different course of events. So limited disease, what happens is the skin rem remains very mild. The skin is not very severely involved. And they do not develop much of other organ involvements usually, usually. So they develop pulmonary hypertension more commonly and more commonly associated with something called as anti-centromere antibody. It's a subset of antibody, which you must know. So when you know today that you have scleroderma, you must know whether you're limited, whether you're diffuse, what kind of antibody we have. That's very important for us to understand because the antibody that we have tells us what is going to happen, what's not going to happen. So not today, science has made so much of progress that we can actually, you know, tell by looking at the antibody as to what we can expect and how we can prevent. So, so everything can be predicted today. So, so limited scleroderma is, is relatively a milder course with centromere positive in majority. And diffuse is where the skin tightening goes up and up and up in the first five years. And when the skin tightening is worsening, that is the time when the internal organ is also simultaneously can get involved. So it's very important to know the skin score early on in the disease, because if the skin score early on, the, on in the disease is worsening, increasing, the skin thickness is increasing. That means there's more chance of early internal organ involvement. And how that helps, we treat these patients aggressively. And the moment we are able to stabilize the skin, we know, yes, the disease is under control. So it's very important to understand whether it's a limited or a diffuse disease. And by scoring at simple bedside, no investigations, not expensive, and some people can learn it to do themselves. And I'm sure world over people are now learning, patients are now learning to do it themselves. In the times of COVID, we are working towards patient reported outcomes where people are themselves able to score. And when you score yourself, there is no, you know, there's no discrepancy. You, you do it the same way you do it every time. And with time, if your skin score is worsening early on in the disease, you know your chances of disease developing some other organ involvement is high and you quickly identify and inform your doctor and they're able to treat it more aggressively. On the other hand, if your skin score is pretty stable, you know you're doing well. So it's very important to understand that whether it is limited, whether it is diffuse, whether the skin is progressively worsening or not.